look at the difference. Bronzer is everything. I've been a makeup artist for 16 years and I'm gonna tell you why you need bronzer in your makeup bag. Contouring is under the cheekbone. Bronzing is on top of it. It's much more flattering. So my trick to achieve that really seamless bronze application is to actually start with a powder. Powders are so mistake proof. You don't layer them heavy like a cream and have to blend them in. You can build them up really easily and softly to get the intensity that you want. And my go-to shade right now is Golden Light in the bronzing powder. Notice I'm working it like a figure of three. Go across the forehead, round to the cheekbone and under the jawline. To get the hairline, this is the best tip to ensure that you don't get what I like to call that halo effect around the scalp. Don't forget your neck, don't forget your ears. If you're having trouble blending your bronzer, the key is to dab and almost like lift up towards the hairline here so that you're getting this real lifting effect on the cheek. Also, have a look at how you're holding the brush. If you're holding the brush up here, you'll notice you're getting a heavier application and your motions as you're blending isn't as seamless. Whereas if you hold the brush here, look at that. It's airbrush, it blends, and you're applying it a lot softer. Okay, so now I have my bronze look going on. I'm gonna complete it with a blush and highlighter. I'm starting with Antigua Shimmer, and I'm just applying this on the apples of the cheeks, so nice and high. And I really love this because when you first come out of the sun, you normally get that slight pinkiness, don't you, to the cheek. So I feel like this just gives you that even more natural sun kiss look and highlight powder, of course. I'm going in with Pink Glow. <gasps> it just completes the look. This is the final look. Bronzer always just gives such a warm, glowing look, doesn't it? And this is why I say you have to have it in your makeup bag.